Okay, so this reading is going to be for the Twin Flame Collective. I am going to do a reading, just guidance um, on what the people on my channel are connecting with right now. Okay, I'm going to be using the Fairy Lenormand Oracle cards right now to do the reading. Um, I have a, <clears throat> this one, I ironically enough I've been looking I've been thinking about a deck and I had someone book a private reading with me and she said shout out to you, you know who you are she said um, that she loves this deck and ironically enough I went and bought it because when I when I looked at the Lenormand decks I love fairies I've always loved fairies to the point of I have a calendar over here it's a tinkle Tinkerbell calendar so I felt like that was a message. Spirit was speaking through her. And this deck, <clears throat> first reading I did, totally resonated. And another funny thing about this deck is that I know I've shared with you in the past that me and my DM's number is 28. That was the number that started, well, <clears throat> 1111 was the first number that started, that awoke, that, that started my journey, that started my journey, okay? But the first synchronicity we got was number 28. My birthday is on the 28th. His birthday is on the 29th. Ironically enough, the card in this deck is number 28. And it is stands for the masculine. And number 29 in this deck stands for the feminine. So... <laughs> I, his his birthday is on my on the map on the feminine card <clears throat> and my birthday is on the masculine card and the little fairy that's on the masculine card does look like my DM it's the cutest thing the goatee and everything and I'm like oh my god <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me feel so good um as you can see I'm in very good spirits. I've done a lot of purging. I've done a lot of meditating. I've done a lot of um, redirecting my focus onto my business um, and reaching out to people and helping people in their own journey and even people in the world, my friends. Um, being every being lights for people who need it, okay? being lights for people who are struggling with addictions, being lights for people who are struggling to find their way. And everything seems to be falling into place. I went to work today, and I know I've told you before that, you know, my other business is successful, and it is, but um, the past few months has been kind of slow. And, um, I mean, I still make the money I need, but it's just been taking a lot more hours. <clears throat> When I start, I notice that when I start on my path and I start following my path um, and I just get on and work, I make so much money to the point where I don't need to work as much. And then that allows me to focus on this channel. And I know why. That's because I'm following my path. And I felt like I needed to say that and I needed to speak that truth because I feel like some people may be lost or may not understand, but when you follow your true north, when you follow your path, right? Because my true north, my lesson that I have to balance in this lifetime with my destiny is I have to balance my finances and my spirituality, uh, find a balance, okay? So that's my... <laughs> that's my my lesson I guess I don't know what you call it um, <clears throat> because I'm so logical being a I'm a Virgo and I'm so logical that um, and analytical that <clears throat> it's hard for me to stay I guess it's, it's hard for me to balance the two. It's hard for me to be spirit. It's hard for me to be, balance spirituality and, and my mind. Okay. Very difficult for me to do that. So, um, <clears throat> it doesn't shock me that that is my, <laughs> my true, you know, my, my North node. 
Um, okay, so, and I have something else. Okay, so some of you, I'm sorry for all the cleavage. <laughs> some of you might not mind. Um, I know that, uh, um, God, what was I going to say? I have so much energy, like, it's just so much energy. Um, oh, okay. So, I was depressed a lot, and I think I was causing blockages and all this stuff, and um, and now that I'm, I'm not, whew, if you see gray hairs, just, I know I need to, I need to dye my hair. Um, <sighs> my roots, anyways. Anyways, um, I started walking again. I have lost five more pounds, all right? And I've been eating more, and I wanted to say this too, I noticed that when I don't eat a lot of processed foods, when I eat more clean, um, I still drink two cups of coffee a day, sometimes three, uh, because I just, I love coffee and I need my energy. But um, I noticed that when I, when I eat more fresh, that um, like plant-based, and kind of stay away from, for some reason I, I've not wanted to eat meat. I, it, it's weird, even as a child, I never really liked meat. I never really liked meat as a kid. Um, when I got with my karmic, he ate a lot of meat, and I started eating a lot of meat, but um, I'm not, now I've gone back to habits that I've had as a child. Um, I used to eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly. Ironically enough, I've been craving peanut butter and jelly, and I'm almost going... <laughs> To my child like so if that makes sense not in an immaturity way but like in the happiness that I have I guess is I don't know if I'm explaining this right um and it just kind of turns my stomach to think about eating meat because I didn't I didn't really eat it as a kid um so the point I'm trying to make is when I notice that when I eat, when I eat a lot of fresh stuff and it, it burns off quicker and it speeds up my metabolism and I've lost like five pounds in two days and I was stagnated for a while. I was, I wasn't losing anything. I think I was losing inches, but I wasn't losing weight and I stopped walking. I was in bouts of depression again. And, um, now that I'm not, I'm focusing on myself and my own journey more so than I ever have, I think. Um, well, no, I won't say that. I guess I was stuck in a, I was stuck. I was stuck in a cycle, okay? Now that I'm not in that cycle anymore, I lost five pounds, like I said, in two days, and I have been eating more raw, um, not processed food, uh, Anyways, I noticed that I, my, the point of this is, I noticed that I lose weight quicker and I, I am closer spiritually. I'm more spiritually inclined. I don't know why. They say something about like the processed foods or something. I don't know. I'm drinking a diet soda right now because I allow myself one a day, one diet soda a day. I noticed when I stopped drinking those throughout the day too, I'm lost weight as well. Um, anyways, let me get on to the reading. If somebody wants to do a timestamp, you can. Okay, so Spirit, please open me up <clears throat> to receiving messages for the Twin Flame community. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> and I have been walking again walking a mile a day to the grocery store. I got my sneakers on. It's kind of cold here too. Messages, message of guidance for the Twin Flame community. What car, I mean, what message do you want to give the Twin Flame community? I've never seen this card before.
I got this card actually. Oh, that's the feminine card. I was about to say I got this for my own reading the other day. That's the feminine. Woo! Oh. Oh, wow. I never got that card yet either. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, basically, I don't, I'm going to say this too, the disclaimer. I'm an intuitive reader. All right. That's my whole thing that I do. Um, so I don't know if there's like a proper way to read these cards. You guys know I beat to the, uh, the tune of my own drum. I don't follow rules. Whatever feels good is what I do. So if this doesn't feel good with you or resonate with you, then it's not for you. Um, but this is how I read these cards and the message, the messages have never been clearer than in this deck. This is the deck that I have resonated with. And this is an oracle deck. This isn't even a tarot deck. And I can read. I can do a reading with this deck. That's how strong the messages come through. I don't know why. But it just does. Um, so the overall message is 24. And <clears throat> this is a male female energy on here looking at each other this almost kind of feels like the two of cups to me um so let's go ahead and see what the overall energy for the collective love okay union oh my god union union and that looks like a heart that they're sitting on a heart of trees wow okay 24 and these numbers Maybe they are significant to you as well. But anyways, 24 union. I don't know. Maybe that's 24 days, 24 weeks, <laughs> 24 hours. I don't know. Um, I don't do timing. I don't really do timing. I'm not. I don't do that. So, but maybe that is true for some. Okay, so we have four. And this looks like a little house and he's got he's got a uh, he's got a uh, like a heart like this is Cupid I'm feeling like this is like a this is gonna be a home I don't know let me look up the meaning um, and then this looks like he looks like this person in this card is like holding like, he's ready for a battle, right? Like, he's ready to do this now. I feel like this is the masculine that is going to be in charge of this union and making the union happen. Like, he's going to take action because he's ready. Um, let me see what the four is. I mean, or it could be she, whichever. The house. Told you. Family. Security. Home. Told you. Four. And four, remember the four of wands in the tarot deck? Four. Four is my twin flame card. My <coughs> family union. My stable family union. And this is the feminine. This card is the feminine because I got this in my reading, so I remember this. The lady, woman, intuitive, feminine. Oh, hold on. That's a client of mine. Oh, geez. In my other business. <clears throat> feminine. The feminine. And this, <clears throat> she's looking. She's looking at this. Which is another feminine energy. She's looking at this, at this cross, right? So she's looking at uh, 36 is the cross, okay? Suffering, burdens, problems, trouble, okay? So this is, this came out as like a guidance or <clears throat> I, asked, I asked for guidance or messages, okay? I feel like this message is telling the feminines that we need to 
go into ourselves and still clear out suffering burdens. Yeah. And clear out <clears throat> clear out any anything that we may be feeling in this energy in this energy that may be burdensome, you know? Um we need to go inside ourselves and fit and heal that and figure out why and figure out, are we feeling lost? If we're feeling lost, why are we feeling lost? Why are we feeling burdened by, um, this D by this twin flame union? Um, yeah, they need a, they're about to do a, a session. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's get some clarity around, around this so funny you want to hear something funny about this um so is why i'm taking his i normally would turn my phone my phone off um i would normally would turn my phone off but ironically enough when i was standing at my altar before i started this reading i said man i need i wish i had um another deck and ironically enough he, he is booking a session now, so I'll have that can pay for my deck, which is so crazy to me. Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> why is the 36 here? Why is 36 here? Why is 36 here? Why is 36 here? Okay. Somebody is fighting. Somebody is, there's conflict. The DF has conflict about, about, there's conflict about not giving up. Maybe you're not giving up. You're not letting go. You're not letting go to allow for union. You're not letting go. Let it go. That's what it is. Let it go. Let it go. Maybe it involves <clears throat> you having to let go of money. Or, yeah, you got to let it go. Let it go, honey. Um, okay, so let's get some clarity. Can we have some clear um, cards for the Twin Flame Collective? Guidance cards for the Twin Flame Collective, please. Guidance for the Twin Flame Collective, please. One or three is fine. One. <laughs> Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. We are all coming into our... our light of being teachers and priestesses or you know priestesses beauty and devotion this is speaking to the ds some are struggling i feel like some are struggling um yeah some are struggling where are you being called to journey to Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Some people are having a hard time doing this, releasing. Um, what messages do you want to tell the ones who are having a hard time releasing? <laughs> Play. Have fun.
fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And we got, we had the Three of Cups come out as well a minute ago, remember? Showed it to you. What do the ones holding on need to know? Holding on to something. What are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to? It doesn't serve you anymore. Trust the niggle feeling. Trust your instinct. What is it trying to tell you? Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. This is, we are learning to be a new way. We're learning to be in a new way. This is it. This is what we are here for. Let go of anything that doesn't serve your journey or you or your growth. If you follow me on Instagram, I made a meme that says, you temporarily have to let things go and if it, for yourself, for your growth and healing. Let it go. Let it go. You have to. You have to. You have to believe. We're too far along. We're too far in this journey for um, for that to be still there. Or maybe some of you are behind me and that's why you're on my channel. Um, I'm going to get a um, postcard from Spirit to help you guys. <clears throat> Spirit, what do you want to tell the Twin Flame Collective? I just heard sound behind me. With love. Dear you, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives, behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. Mm, that's not the reason for this journey. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that, that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you toward joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be at a, amazed at how things turn, around, turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Basically, that's saying that if you can't let go because you want this union so bad, check yourself. Because that's not the reason we're here. Right? That ain't it. We're here for our own soul growth. Our, our twin, <laughs> us and our twins have to grow. We have to grow. We're not here for selfish reasons. We're not here to, we're here for love, yes, because love is going to heal the planet. But we're here for um, giving others our light. Right? Letting others see this testimony. Right? We're not here just to live perfect lives. We're here to go through all of this crap and then have a testimony to say, look where I'm at now. Look what all that, go through the day one of my videos and see my progression. That is going to be the testimony. When I go into union because it's coming when I go into union because I have a feeling I know it it's my inner knowing right and he's sitting next to me and he's on this channel with me I thought about this today this actually hit me today when he's sitting next to me doing videos with me on my channel that's going to be all the testimony that you will ever need and I feel like that's going to bring a lot of people's faith and be like, wow. And that might be what some DMs need. Or DFs. And it's coming. I promise you. 
love and light to all of you. If you have any questions, email me below. And you guys know that <laughs> if I wasn't serious, I wouldn't have said that. And I promise, I promise you I'm making a promise at 208 11 16 18. When I go into union, I will do a video with him right here by my side. 